How's everybody doing? I'm Kurt Schaefer. This is Chris Cuevas. Uh, it's Raising the White Flag. We're basically talking about bypassing application whitelisting. Um, the idea was that more and more people are starting to see application whitelisting in their environments. Uh, the problem is, is that, and, and I want to put this up front, that we didn't want to badmouth any of these companies. We'll say that up front. The problem is, is that their marketing people suck, right? They're out there saying, this stops APT, this stops DLL injection, this stops all the bad stuff. It doesn't. And that's what we've done in our uh, research, and that's what we've seen. So I'm with Foreground Security. Uh, basically, we do a bunch of different things, but we do security architecture, pen testing, vulnerability assessments, uh, incident handling, that kind of stuff. Me, myself, I'm a lead incident, incident handler and a malware analyst, uh, so that's what I do most of the time. Uh, I'm also a pen tester, so I'm also doing pen testing for our clients and their engagements. I'm also a SANS mentor for 560, 503, and 610. Chris, on the other hand, Hey guys, I'm Chris Cuevas. Uh, I work for Secure Ideas. I'm a senior security consultant. I'm an open source advocate. Uh, I've contributed to the Samurai WTF project, uh, Mobisec. I'm co author of SEC 571, the mobile security, uh, mobile device security for SANS. Uh, and I'm also a SANS mentor for 504. And I'm also a SANS mentor for 504. I apologize. <laughs> no, no, not for the SANS. <laughs> Sands rocks. <laughs> we had to put lol cats just because. What's this about? Uh, bypassing application whitelisting solutions, like we said. So there's a couple different things we tested, and we wanted to show people what you can do. So our idea is to show penetration testers what you can do if you're on pen tests to, to combat this. And also, uh, we wanted to let people know that we're managing whitelisting, what the vulnerabilities are, what the weaknesses are, so that you can watch out for them. Uh, it's often pushed as the replacement for antivirus. We don't believe that. We do believe that something better than antivirus is needed. We believe application whitelisting 